Welcome! A random sample of 27 observations from a large population has a mean of 22 and a standard deviation of 4.8. Can we conclude at alpha equals 0 0.01 that the population mean is significantly below 24? Since we're testing if the population mean is below 24, the alternative hypothesis will be that the population mean is less than 24. The null hypothesis will be that the population mean is greater or equal to 24. The significance level alpha for this test is 0 0.01. Now, this is a left tail test, so the critical or rejection region will be in the left tail of the distribution. Because we only have the sample standard deviation and not the population, we will conduct a t-test. So to find a critical value separating the critical region from the non-critical region, we consult the t-distribution table. Now the t-distribution uses degrees of freedom, df as seen here. The degrees of freedom for a one sample t-test for mean is n minus one. Since the sample size in our example is 27, the degrees of freedom will be 27 minus one, which gives 26. Since we're conducting a one tail test and alpha is 0 0.01, the corresponding critical value will be 2.479 here. But because this is a left tailed test, it will actually be a negative 2.479. So we say we reject the null hypothesis if the t statistic is less than negative 2.479. Now, substituting the values into the formula, we calculate the test statistic as negative 2.165. And as you can see here, the test statistic is not less than negative 2.479, or it is not in the rejection region. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And because we cannot reject the null hypothesis, we cannot support the alternative that says that the mean is less than 24. So at alpha equals 0 0.01, we can say there is not enough evidence to conclude that the population mean is significantly less than 24. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.